Hi everyone, this is Ms. Tosi from PS11. Today, I'm going to show you a strategy for multiplying by 5. When multiplying by 5, I can multiply by 10 and then have the product. Let me show you how the strategy works. We know that when we are multiplying with 10s, we can use place value. For example, 3 times 10 means 3 groups of 10. 3 tens equals 30. Did you know that we can use this to help us multiply by 5? Have you noticed that if we divide 10 in half, we get 5? 1 group of 5, 2 groups of 5. So watch this. Let's say I want to multiply 8 times 5. Thinking about place value, I know pretty quickly that 8 times 10 equals 80. So right here, I have 8 groups of 10, but I want to know what 8 groups of 5 equals. So, I can divide 80 in half to find what 8 groups of 5 equals. Half of 80 is 40, so 8 times 5 equals 40. Remember, to use this times 5 strategy, you can multiply by 10 and then have the product. This strategy is really cool. It even works for bigger numbers. Watch me try 60 times 5. First, I multiply 60 times 10. And that equals 600. Then, I divide 600 in half. And that equals 300. 600 divided by 2, or 600 split in half, equals 300. So, 60 times 5 equals 300. Want to try it out? Try 12 times 5. If you get 60 for an answer, then now you know how to use this multiplying by 5 strategy.